Welcome to Fox News. I'm Sierra Highland. And I'm Margaret Messier. And we will be talking about how the Supreme Court case, Hernandez v. Texas, had put Latin American equal rights in jeopardy, violating the 14th Amendment. Before this case was brought to the Supreme Court, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, where this case first began, the respondents, whom were Hernandez and his attorney, said that they, as Mexicans, were a special class. By saying this, they argue with the petitioners, the jury, in the state court who said that Mexicans were classified under the white race and thereby weren't considered a special class. Hernandez was proven guilty by all white jury and took this case to the Supreme Court. The issue involved in this 1954 Supreme Court case is, is the denial of the 14th Amendment Equal Protection Clause to try a defendant of a particular race or ethnicity before a jury where all persons of his race or ancestry have been, because of that race or ethnicity, been excluded by the state. This issue was decided unanimously by Chief Justice Earl Warren. Also, there were no dissenting or concurring opinions written, other than Warren's overall opinion. Yes, all the justices ruled in favor of Hernandez because Warren stated on May 3, 1954, purposeful exclusion on Mexican Americans from jury service violates the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. The court was able to make this justification because a person of Mexican ancestry hadn't served in the court system in over 25 years, and in the Jackson County Courthouse, there were separate toilets where one was unmarked for white individuals and the other said colored men and hombres aquí. This situation involving the public restrooms clearly gave evidence to support how the Mexicans were discriminated against as another group, just like the African Americans in Jackson County. Therefore, Earl Warren decided that the exclusion of Mexican Americans on the jury violates the 14th Amendment Equal Protection Clause. Warren determined that the 14th Amendment is not directed solely against discrimination due to a two-class theory. In Jackson County, there was clearly a group other than whites and African Americans based on how the toilets were marked. So, the Equal Protection Clause did apply to the Mexican Americans. Like Margot said, the 14th Amendment protects those beyond the two classes, whites and blacks. In this case, the Equal Protection Clause protected Mexicans because it can be proved that this racial group does exist in the county. Overall, Hernandez v. Texas was decided unanimously in favor of Hernandez by Chief Justice Warren, deciding in 1954, purposeful exclusion on Mexican Americans from jury service violates the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Then Warren gave Hernandez a new trial with a proper jury. Thanks for watching. I'm Marga Messier. And I'm Sierra Highland. Make sure to tune in tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central for more breaking news.